they probably don't know about this story, so I'm probably just like putting myself out there right now. But it, 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 I probably take them. Good job for another one and thank you all of you for subscribing to my channel man I really do appreciate it even if it's not you know <clears throat> to the extent of other people or like you know my progress has been a little bit slower than some other people's progress you know what I'm saying but I've never been somebody that was really well known on social media so <clears throat> it's kind of a little bit harder for me but that's why I want to do this all natural, all original, no shout outs, no none of that, man. I don't want no handouts, you know what I'm saying? I want to be able to say that I did this all on my own, you feel me? So, um, <clears throat> support the movement, grind with us, because it's going to be a journey and it's going to be a lit one, man. So, I got a story time for y'all today. Um, <clears throat> I want y'all to let me know if you had any similar situations in your life at all comment section below if you like these stories you feel me if they entertain you if you want to see more what you want to see from me you know what i'm saying just let me know in the comment section below and i got you um but <clears throat> and if you're not already subscribed to the channel's first video that you're watching of me what are you doing hit that subscribe button man show me some love show me that you love take off anyways so uh, to start off this story, man, I'm gonna let y'all know what the time frame was. During the time of junior year to senior year, I was still going through, you know, my coming out. Cause I didn't come out till very late. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, well not very late because it wasn't that late. You know, I was in high school. I came to Florida sophomore year, junior year, I was in high school. Boy! I went to the same high school for three years, right? My sophomore, my junior, and my senior year. Junior year, there was this girl um, that came into one of my classes to make a long story short. You feel me? That was, um, that I found attractive. You feel me? And it was like, it was one of my classes that was like an elective, so I didn't really take the class real serious. You know what I'm saying? But when she came through, I was like, damn, you feel me? And at the time, it wasn't like, I was fully dressing how I wanted to dress. Junior year, I was dressing how I wanted to dress in like school, you feel me? But I was still wearing girls clothes. You just couldn't notice that it was a girls, like it was girls clothes. Like I would wear like girls Nike hoodies or um, like plain, um, like plain jeans and shit like that. Like they were still girls clothes, but they were really tomboyish, you feel me? So that was me junior year. And, and you know, she's new to the school and everything. And she's a straight girl. Story of my life. I'm feeling this girl like all year, you feel me? This is the girl that I'm chasing all year. And, um, you know, she's she fucks with me, but she's not really taking me serious. Junior year ends. I'm still fucking with this girl. We used to be on kick and shit like that. We used to talk all the time and shit. It, you know, she was straight, so she was like confused and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking with this girl all in junior year. I just want to make this a point, you feel me? Because this is where the story comes from. Okay? This is the beginning of this story. It, I know she had went to a different school. Uh, once I got to senior year, uh, she went to a different school. And that's really when I stopped fucking with her. Junior year summer, we had... It was probably one of my hoes uh, summers. You know what I'm saying? My hoes, by far. I want you guys to understand, like, you know, I never really fucked with, like, a lot of girls. You know, a lot of girls didn't really fuck with me like that. It wasn't like, you know, I was just this, like, stunner in high school. I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't really, like, super popular or anything like that. Uh, you know, people knew of me, but I was chilling in high school. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what I'm saying. I was chilling in high school, and me and Gotti were really good best friends throughout high school. You guys know this. Gotti is in my previous videos if you want to watch her. Um, I just posted a video with her recently. I think it was Would You Rather. Um, that was lit, so if you haven't seen that already, go check that out, man. At the time, she lived like in a different city, 
uh, junior year summer, so I used to always, you know, catch a ride to her house. We used to always chill and shit. Um, but this summer, I don't know, I don't know how, but this summer I was just like noticed. I don't know what it was about me. I need to just, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what I did that summer that was so right that, you know, I just, you know, had options that summer. Um, and this is, you know, I'm not encouraging anybody to do anything like this. This was all a learning experience for me, you feel me? So, she lives close to Gotti. I'm pretty sure she doesn't have an issue with me telling the story, so it's all good. Gotti, so me and her used to hang out all the time and stuff. Um, and I was still always feeling her, you feel me? And there was this other girl, we gonna call her, we gonna call her Diamond, right? This other girl. The girl that I'm talking about, my whole junior year that I was fucking with, we're gonna call her Water. I know why I'm calling her Water. And then there was... Tiffany. I'm gonna have to remember these names because I'm probably not gonna remember by the end of the video, man. But Water, Diamond, and Tiffany, okay? They probably don't know about this story, so I'm probably just like putting myself out there right now. But I'm pretty sure they probably don't even watch my videos, so it don't even matter. Anyways, so um, Diamond came around. Like, you know, I went to school with her, but. I really don't know exactly how we started fucking with each other to be honest I feel like it was because of social media and it was during the summer so we weren't in school together but she had went to my school you know what I'm saying we didn't ever really get to see each other we just started like kind of we were flirting you know what I'm saying we started talking and stuff and then um, me and at the time me and water we were just like we were kind of more friends at that time during the summer because I was kind of realizing that, you know, it was an L for me. Um, so we were kind of more friends, you know what I'm saying? But we were never really just friends. But anyways, so then Diamond comes around, you know, I'm like, okay, I got another opportunity to move on, you know what I'm saying? Because Diamond's fucking with me, she's feeling me, you know what I'm saying? And I'm feeling her, and we're talking. Um, and we really only seen each other like one time that summer. But we were really just talking like on the phone and through text and stuff. But Diamond had this huge issue that I always go through with every girl that I fuck with for some reason. That she was not over her ex. So I guess she wasn't taking it that serious as I was taking it. You know? Um, but we were still talking. You know what I'm saying? She didn't want me to fuck with nobody else and stuff. And then so then Tiffany comes on. Tiffany, the way that I met Tiffany, um, this was all in one summer, you know what I'm saying? The way that I met Tiffany was through social media. She added me on, um, I don't know if it was me that added her or she added me, but it was another one of my stud friends on Instagram, probably not my friend, but an acquaintance or something that I saw on Instagram, posted her and gave her like a shout out, right? So I'm like, oh damn, she bad. So I followed her. She had like tattoos, just my type, right? Just just my type you know what I'm saying so I followed her and she ends up following me back and then that Wednesday she put me as her woman crush Wednesday I don't know what I don't know this girl you know what I'm saying she just out of nowhere just puts me as her woman crush Wednesday she tags me and I'm like all right but I'm not really the type of person to, to like go up to girls or you know like to to approach a girl maybe I'm pussy for that it is what it is you know what I'm saying but at this point with this girl it was like I already know she feeling me you know what I'm saying because she got me as a woman crush Wednesday I don't remember exactly how it happened I think she DM me though she DM me and um, we started talking through DM and then we started talking on the phone and shit and she went to a completely different school she lived kind of far out I didn't have a car at the time she didn't have a car at the time you know we was young so um, we never really saw each other neither. We saw each other like a couple times, you know what I'm saying? She was the type that didn't want a relationship, to make a uh, long story short, you know what I'm saying? So we were just fucking around with each other. But at the same time, she didn't want me fucking with nobody else. So it was so hard at this point because I had three girls that I was fucking with at the same time. 
Water was a really cool female. Like, she was cool as fuck. You know what I'm saying? And we have been friends for a long time. So she basically, you know, she saw that I was fucking with a couple different girls at the time. You know? Because she was the type of female that I could just tell her. You know, like, I'm, you know, I'm fucking with a couple different females right now. You know what I'm saying? So, she, I guess, at the time, she was really confused. You know what I'm saying? She didn't know what she really wanted to do. Know if she wanted to fuck with me, if she didn't. So, there was one point where I felt like I had to choose one person. You know what I'm saying? I felt like I had to choose one person because it was getting too stressful at that point. Like, I would be on the phone with one, and then I would have to be texting the other one, and then the other one would be, you know, like, it was just a lot for me so and i'm not the type of person i'm not a player you know what i'm saying i'm not like that so i'm like damn yo like i gotta pick one person to be fucking with somebody that's gonna take me real serious you know what i'm saying and i knew it was not gonna be tiffany because even though tiffany was just my type she wasn't looking for a relationship and i knew this you know what i'm saying even though i thought that the way that we were would change things and I knew that we had like a special bond and she knew that too, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I felt like she would cuff me or I would be the exception. But don't ever think, don't ever expect anything from anyone. Don't put shit past people neither because people gonna be the way that they are, you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm gonna say. So I was like, fuck that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I fucked with her but I was just waiting until she kind of was not interested anymore at that point because I was like, man, you know, I'm what I'm looking for and what you're looking for is completely different. You know what I'm saying? So Diamond was still not over her ex. We were kind of in that stage where it was kind of just always like, oh, so what are you going to do type shit. And then we had water that I had been fucking with for the longest period of time. And she just was confused. Like she didn't have any ex issues. She didn't have any issues with commitment or anything like that. She just didn't know what she wanted. She didn't know if she wanted to be straight or gay, you know what I'm saying? So, I really thought about it. I talked to Gadi about it, you know. We were, like, trying to figure out who I was going to pick, all this stuff, right? So, I ended up, um, Water ended up coming over to, um, to Gadi's house. I guess her and Gadi went in the room and she was telling Gadi that she really wanted to take me serious. I guess because, you know, when a girl sees you with somebody else, let's just put this out there. And if this offends anybody, I'm sorry, man. But this is just my theory. You know what I'm saying? This is just how I feel about it. If a girl that likes you sees you with another girl, it's raps. It's raps, man. It's raps. She's not going to let that happen. You know what I'm saying? So... Water did not let that happen. You know what I'm saying? She went in the room with Gotti and she told her that she wanted to take me serious, all this stuff, right? Everything that I would want to hear from her because I had been chasing her for so, so, so long. You know what I'm saying? She comes out of the room and I feel like this is all in one day. And I'm like, all right, bet. Like, she's already here. You know, she's the one that I really hang out with the most. I haven't really hung out with Diamond or Tiffany at all like that. Probably, I could count with one hand how many times I hung out with them. You know, this is the girl that I know the most. This is the girl that I'm most comfortable with. You know, this is the girl that I would want to be with. You know what I'm saying? Even though there's, you know, somebody else is more my type than she is, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? I knew her the best. So, um, I was like, yeah, I'm going to pick water then. So water, as a girl, she's like, all right, so if you want to be with me, then you have to drop both of them, and you have to let both of them know that you have somebody already. And I'm like, how am I supposed to let them know that I have somebody already when I have been talking to both of them for up to today like they're gonna be so fucking pissed at me and you know I didn't want that to happen so I'm like fuck man like I didn't know what to do at this point cuz I'm like how they're gonna be like how the fuck did you get a girlfriend in a day you know what I'm saying but you know I had to grow the balls and I had to do it and I think that with Tiffany, it was a little easier because I could just text her. You know, I didn't have to call her anything because I just let her know over text. 
And I think at that point we were kind of just like not really fucking with each other that much. But she still tripped, you know what I'm saying? And then I had to call, um, what was her name? Diamond. I had to call Diamond. And when I called Diamond, I remember this conversation more than I remember the one with Tiffany, honestly. But with Diamond, I had to call her. And she was like, You got a girlfriend in the day? She started spazzing out. Tiffany spazzed out on me, you feel me? Because Tiffany was the type that, like, she was very overprotective, you know what I'm saying? So she was like, like, like if I didn't respond to her or something like that, like at one point when I was at when I was at Water's house for like one of her family events, because her family knew who I was, you feel me? But they just didn't know what we had together. No. Fucking Tiffany is spazzing out on Twitter talking about like Megan doesn't reply to me. Like she's spazzing out because she's a type. She had a real bad attitude, but that's what I love, man. That's I like that shit. So she was, I don't I don't really remember the conversation between me and her. I can't really tell y'all what the fuck happened with me and her. But when I called Diamond, she was like, you got a girlfriend in a day? She was hurt, you know what I'm saying? I know she was butthurt about it, you feel me? But I had to do what I had to do. And I already knew the type of nigga that I was, you feel me? Like, I was, I was a loyal person, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yo, like, if she really wants to fuck with me, then I'm going to show her that I really want to fuck with her. You know what I'm saying? So, I basically let both of them know, like, you know, I have a girlfriend now. I had to put her on my Twitter bio. You know, she made me do all these things so that, you know, she knew that she could trust me, I guess. And, um, so that day, it was a good day, you know what I'm saying? You know, with my best friend and her, we had a good day. And that day I introduced her as my girlfriend for, like, the first time. I have felt like that was, like, such an accomplishment for me just because, like, it took me so long to get to that point where I was able to say that that was my girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? And then she goes home. I go home that night, you know what I'm saying? Everything's fine. We don't really talk that day because we had just been together all day, you know what I'm saying? The next day, though, um, I don't hear from her at all. All day. I see that she's on Instagram. I see that she's on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? She's on Facebook. I'm looking at all social media to see if she's on it. And she is. You know? But she's not hitting me up. We're not talking. I don't remember if I wrote her and then she didn't reply. Because this was a long time ago. But, like, where you at? Like, niggas was just, like, looking. Like, where you at? nowhere to be found you know what i'm saying so i'm like what's going on like be honest with me like why why are you not responding to me and it's like the second day the second day number two two days that's it two days day number two she's not responding to me i'm like yo what the fuck like i just did all of this i just fucking i just dropped all my hoes just for you and you're not responding to me, you're not talking to me now? What 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 was the point? Like, what did you want to accomplish? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is it that you wanted to accomplish if you was just not going to talk to me? Like, ain't that some shit? So, like, later on that day, I'm freaking out. I'm like, yo, like, what the fuck? Like, <sighs> just my luck. She finally hits me up. I think I had to text her or I don't remember. But she finally hits me up. And you know what she hits me with? <clears throat> you guys. My friends. My family. You know what she hits me with? She says. Now that I have you, I don't know what to do with you. Now that I have you, I don't know what to do with you. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. So you telling me 
that you didn't have this shit planned out, man. Like, you don't know what to do in a relationship. Like, I don't understand. Like, so you telling me that when you in a relationship, you don't know what to do. Like, you are supposed to be in high school, you know, completely competent, you know what I'm saying, to knowing what it is that comes with a relationship. And you telling me you don't know what to do with me. Like, I'm a fucking alien. Like, I'm just, like, somebody, like, completely different that you have to treat, like, that, that you don't even know how to treat. Like, I'm your kid and, and you know, you... Like, like, you don't need to read up on this shit. You know what to do on a relationship. You know what to do when you're in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? It's not something you gotta learn. It's just something that comes natural. You know what I'm saying? Am I wrong? Or... So she basically tells me that. Breaks up with me the next day. And I'm left with no... No hoes. No girlfriend. Nothing. Because my hoes are pissed off at me because all of a sudden I have a girlfriend. Which means that I've been talking to her before, which was correct, you know what I'm saying? They weren't wrong, you feel me? But I just basically just dropped on my hoes for somebody that I went out with for one fucking day. And that's basically the end of the story, man. Me and Water to this day were cool as fuck, you know. Um, I'm cool with all three of them, you know what I'm saying? I don't have no issues with them. If you want to know about my other L's that I've taken throughout my life, you know what I'm saying? If you like these stories, let me know in the comment section below. If you've ever been through anything like this in your life, I want to know, man. I want to know that I'm not the only one. So let me know in the comment section below. Uh, you know, subscribe, like, share, all that good shit, man. Help out. Support the movement. We're taking off, man. You already know what to do. Comment L, man. Big L's. Big L's. Stay blessed.